All right, let's start. Um, I think we've got four attendees here and, uh, and we're waiting for one more to, to come, but uh, you can join us. Uh, um, uh, well, you can join us anytime you want to. Thank you very much for, uh, for trying this out. Um, I think it's a good opportunity to, to meet you and to meet me and put a face to, to your supervisor. Uh, um, I think it will, in the long run it will it will pay off. So this first test webinar is just for you. Uh, normally, what I do with my honors class, as well as uh, give a bit of an introduction uh, um, lecture, or just introduce myself to who I am and what I do and where I come from, so that you can understand how I go how I go about things. Uh, um, so first of all, just want to get this out of the way. Um, there's my contact details. Uh, um, if you uh, um, if you if you want to pop in while you're there, uh, um, make sure that you come to the quantity surveying department. There's my telephone number. I've all got my mobile, and there's my uh, uh, email. And if you want to stalk me a little bit, uh, go have a look on LinkedIn and have a look at what my other uh, um, students have said about my supervision style. And, and all of that. Uh, um, this year I'm on sabbatical, uh, um, so I mainly have research students and I'm doing my own little bit of research. I'll talk about this a little bit later on. And it's important for you to also realize that uh, um, from the 31st of October, I, I won't be in the country, I will be in Europe. So uh, um, there's about a month spread um, where I won't be here physically. Uh, um, I will try and put all of the software on my on my laptop and see if we can communicate from 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 uh, um, Germany, and uh, there we can handle as well. We we can handle some issues, uh, and by, but but hopefully by that stage we've all sorted out your problem statements, your SOT problems, and uh, yeah, uh, um, you, you should be well on your way there at that stage. Um, First of all, this is my family. Um, I'm a family man and family comes first for me. So it's important to introduce you to, to them. This is Katarina. Katarina is a senior lecturer at, in the CM department. Some of you might have met her before. And that's my little boy, uh, um, Patrick. Uh, and they both in the moment in Germany, Katarina's on sabbatical. So they with uh, the grandparents uh, and visiting a little bit. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, my professional experience, uh, from 2004 to 2008, I, I worked as a quantity surveyor in Dublin, in Ireland. Uh, um, a great experience for me is my first job. Uh, I've got a lot of experience there, international experience. I worked under some, under some great directors uh, and taught me a lot. Um, during that time, my dad passed away and my sisters were still in school. So I had to come back. Uh, um, and when I came back, I started as an academic associate professor uh, um, at the university and at the quantity surveying department. I'm still there 11 years uh, um, now. Um, yeah, and we've grown um, quite well. We've, uh, um, it, when, I, when I got there, I was made the head of research in that department and we've, we've been doing quite well in the last couple of years. We've grown every year, year on year, and we learn from the previous year. Uh, um, and we're doing quite well now in the last couple of years we've won a couple of awards from from our students so our students are doing really well we really try and engage with the students and make sure that they have a good learning experience um, my qualifications i did a bsc uh, quantity surveying at the university of old university of port elizabeth i did a computer science curriculum in 2001 i uh, um, graduated then I went straight into my master's, uh, Prof. Raymond Cardo uh, was my supervisor. And my title there was uh, Design Team's Views on Quantity Surveying Competencies. It was a quantitative study, so I collected quantitative data. Um, and uh, yeah, th that was a good learning experience. Then after that, I did went directly into my doctorate. And uh, uh, um, uh, I think Fizikele is trying to get hold of me. Uh, um, and uh, then, yeah, then I was supervised by Prof. Smallwood 
And my thesis title there was Clients' Views on Design Team Competencies. And uh, after that uh, was a little bit of a 10-year gap. And then I did my MBA at Stellenbosch. And you'll see there that I did a, 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 I did a, 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 a title there, which is a little bit out of the norm. It's a strategic architecture of visual art startups. And uh, uh, that, that was more a, a qualitative, qualitative study. And that was my first introduction to, to qualitative studies. Uh, um, previous ones were all quantitative data. At the moment, I'm busy with my MPhil in higher education at Stellenbosch. I'm looking at factors that influence quantity surveying on a student's academic engagement. It's an interactive qualitative analysis. Once again, it's qualitative. We're doing uh, um, focus groups and then interviews. Uh, I'm finishing up with my subjects now, and then I'm moving on to, to this. My, my proposal has been given a go-ahead, so I can start with that uh, um, as soon as I finish my subjects. In terms of uh, supervising areas, uh, research areas, as you'll see from my experience, uh, um, I do look into construction professional competencies, and I, I see that a couple of you are uh, um, are interested in competencies, not just quantity surveying competencies. I did I, my doctorate. I did all the five major professions competencies uh, and looked into them in terms of uh, um, what is required, what is what's the competency level at the moment, and. Uh, what will be required in the future. Um, then you, from my MBA, I'm very much interested in, in business administration. So you'll see a lot of my honor students and m and students are surrounded or, or are focusing on uh, business administration topics. So leadership, um, CSR, ethics, uh, rivalry and strategy. Uh, um, I, I find that very interesting. And then obviously uh, my teaching and learning um, and that is what I'm doing with my MPhil now, going into teaching and learning, uh, um, seeing how how we can convey uh, uh, um, the knowledge that we have better to, to students and make sure that students have a good throughput rate and perform very well. Uh, um, that is, and that is quite important for us as a department as well. Um, so those are, those are the three main topics that uh, that I focus on and I've asked you before, and uh, that's probably where, where you got my name from as well from Prof Shikantu is, uh, um, I would want you to stay within those three broad areas when you are doing, when you are doing your research. Uh, um, yeah. And just to recap, there's my, there's my details. Uh, um, if you need to find me, if you want to physically come visit me, uh, um, there, there it is. Remember that I'm in Europe from the 31st. And uh, also remember to please fill in the questionnaire. Uh, um, after this webinar is finished, uh, a questionnaire will pop up in Question Pro. Just, fill, uh, just have a think about, reflect upon this whole process. This has just been a short webinar to test it all out. It looks like one or two people had issues with uh, um, connecting. Uh, but if this happens in the, in the past, in the future, remember that this, will all, this is all recorded and I'll put it on my YouTube channel and you can go watch it afterwards again. Uh, um, obviously, I, I won't be able to answer your questions immediately, but uh, you can send me an email and I'll try and uh, uh, answer it as quick as possible. Um, the other thing is, let's have a test run tomorrow, a second test run and see if we can get the other people to connect. And we'll briefly talk about that uh, Excel spreadsheet that, uh, that I sent you before. I want to take you through it, how, how, I, how I envisage the, the most important thing at the moment for me is, is that we, uh, um, for each one of you, um, get a problem statement, sub-problems, and hypothesis if you're doing quantitative data sorted out. Uh, and once we get that sorted out, then um, then all the other stuff is fairly easy. But uh, no, it's it's a bit of a struggle at the beginning. Most most students uh, um, complain at the beginning that it is difficult at the beginning, and it is difficult and uh, um, at the beginning to find your niche area which you are you're going to focus on. But uh, if you persevere, and we get and we get that sorted out, then at the end you will uh, uh, um, then it will be fine. 
Anyways, are there any questions? Uh, um, do you have any questions there? Make sure, ensure that there's a, there's a little text box that you can uh, um, write any questions that you want. I'll give it a, a couple of seconds to see if you uh, um, have any questions or had any issues with the feed or anything else. Oh, there's Fuzikile. Hello, Fuzikile. You made it. <laughs> um, obviously, we, we're right at the end, physically, uh, um, but I'll record this and I'm recording this and then I'll, I'll put it on YouTube and you can have a quick watch of it uh, um, later on. Uh, it was just a quick uh, overview of my experience and where I come from. Uh, um, so, yeah. No questions from you guys? You don't want to try out anything? Okay, let's leave it at that. Thank you very much for, for attending. Uh, uh, we'll have the second test run tomorrow morning and I'll explain to you once again the Excel spreadsheet uh, um, that, I, that I want you to use. Thank you very much. And uh, remember to fill in the questionnaire that's gonna pop up now after this one. Thank you.